the, the miscarriage did change the way we, it, it changed everything because it was stressful when we got to the point where we were going, okay, we're gonna try to have a kid, that's stressful. And then you've got the first 12 weeks, which is the, the, the risky time, um, which for us, we thought we were through, and then we had the miscarriage. We had all of the, you know, the emotional fallout of that. And then sort of psychologically saying, we're gonna try again, we're gonna go for this again. And that's, that is emotionally stressful. I knew that it would be hard whenever we decided again, if we decided again. So I knew time wasn't gonna make it any easier. And if anything, the longer I was not pregnant, the more time I'd have to dwell on what had happened this time. It was hard to make a baby, and then we had a miscarriage, and then you're worried about it, and then you've got to dive back in and try to make another one with all of the context of everything that's just gone on. That's like, if you've been crying in the day, it's hard to feel sexy that night, and there's a schedule if you're trying to make a baby. There are good days and bad days to have a go, and that's... That's really difficult, and that is something that you should feel free to talk about and work through together, because the stuff going on in your head, once you've been through that, it's sketchy. Having a second pregnancy straight after a miscarriage, um, it, didn't, it did mean a lot less excitement. Um, again, it was almost kind of surprise at looking at the, at the pregnancy test, and, and it was almost like, a, okay, here we go. Um, we didn't take the weekly photographs that time because we didn't want to risk having photographs that then captured something that was hard to look back on. Um, I didn't look forward to the scans. I was terrified of every scan. Um, I was just nervous in the build-up to every scan. Particularly for us because it was a missed miscarriage. You, we couldn't even think if we got to 12 weeks it was okay because you don't know if maybe actually you thought you'd got to 12 weeks and it stopped at seven, as was the case with us. So we had extra scans during that. And then even after 12, uh, you can't relax because you go, well, there's still things can happen, so. I hated the fact that I didn't suffer from morning sickness because I worried that that could be a sign that this pregnancy wasn't going to go full term. I looked for all sorts of signs. The placenta decided to grow at the front of my tummy that meant that I couldn't feel as much movement so I couldn't feel the baby kicking until relatively late in the pregnancy um, it was when we were on holiday that I felt for the first time and even then I was having to question was that a baby kick or not um, and then because I didn't have the regularity of it I couldn't even reassure myself at home we considered do we buy a home Doppler kit but then we read that that can give you false reassurance so we decided that we would just pay for more regular scans and just try to get our reassurance that way um, it I don't think I don't think either of us really truly believed that we were going to reach the end of the journey. Um, we didn't dare hope. I, I really did want that window in my belly to just go, you okay in there? Yeah, okay. I, 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 want, I wanted the window. Um, and at the NHS would give me everything they could that would get as close to that as possible. So I, I can't fault the support we had. Our family was incredible. Our friends were amazing. My friends just let me just text them horribly sad texts and email them horribly sad emails and absorbed it. For us, Ella came along shortly after. I, I do think we're incredibly lucky. I do think Ella has helped to heal us and I'm conscious that that isn't necessarily going to happen for everybody. The good news is we went through that. It was rubbish. It remains rubbish. But straight after it, had another go, made a tiny human. She is the best baby ever and it's incredible so even if it is i mean we're lucky that won't be the story for everybody but the point is that if you do have a miscarriage and if you do have it, it is dreadful miscarriages are normal 25 percent of pregnancy is only miscarriage you can there is a life after it whatever that might be um but it's okay that it doesn't completely disappear it's, you should feel it it's fine to feel things when bad things happen to you